Welcome everybody to uh, another edition of Comics You Crave. I'm Brian West and that's Ryan Tomlinson and this week we have a fun new comic from Dark Horse Comics. Black yes. Hammer number one. Black Hammer. And yes, it is meant to look kind of old school comic -y. Yes. It, it was pretty awesome. It is about a superhero named Black Hammer, kind of. Um, oh, this new comic. Yes. Yeah. This is a new comic brought to us by writer. <laughs> Jesus, where is that? Uh, Jeff Lemire, art done by uh, Dean Ormson. Ormison? You know what? I always make fun of you for messing up the names. It's not as yeah. easy. Yeah, how do you easy. like it being on that side, bitch? Because it's not easy. Should I, should I pull, uh, should I pull uh, Ash? Art by Dean <laughs> 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 Colors by Dave good. Stewart and letters by Todd Klein. <laughs> yes. So, uh, I, sorry, sorry, Dave. I know I totally screwed your name up. I apologize horribly. Feel free to come on our show and let us know how you actually say it. I would be more than happy to say how bad I am at it and uh, repeat your name correctly. Yes. But essentially this comic is there's um, there was a golden age for superheroes and um, what's it like four or five five of them are basically like stuck on this farm. Yeah, they're kind of like the Justice Society um, of America, honestly. Yeah. Picture Justice Society of America hiding out on a farm. <laughs> yes. And basically just them trying to cope with the situation they've been there for 10 years and um, you kind of get it you figure out why they're at the very or not really why they're there but um, well, the, kind of the a issue, small amount of context at the very end well the issue does a good I, job of kind of establishing the world um, it mostly focuses on introducing us to the uh, the team of superheroes that are now retired and in hiding you don't get a lot of reason why they're in hiding you understand why they're on this farm um, it definitely yeah. doesn't necessarily end on a cliffhanger. They, they apparently can't leave the area of the town. Yeah. They can go into this town, and I don't know if it's like uh, the, the people in the town can leave, but like for some whatever reason they can't. I mean, it, it seems like there's a great big grand story that's going to be told. Yeah, um, it's, it's definitely purposely vague on a lot of the details. It gives you kind of what you need to know. Like I said, this issue is mostly... Um, sets up the characters for the future so you, you get an idea of who everyone is and kind of what their a little bit of their story is going forward. And if nothing else, at least they're how they act and what they do. So um, it mm -hmm. gives you a good, a good opportunity to be introduced to all these characters, and that's kind of what this yeah. issue does, and then leaves you on a little bit of a cliffhanger and kind of tells you what happened to the title character of the comic, uh, Black Hammer. So, And there's yeah. a bigger story there that it definitely seems like that's going to unfold as well in the future. So, um, Artwork? I kind of, I, I'm kind of digging the artwork. It's very um, old school comic books. It's almost like very yeah. '80s comic, very '70s. And I, I liked it. it was, I mean, when you're going with what the story is, you know, a bunch of old, you know, superheroes that you know are basically retired in a sense. Yeah, or for, uh, forcibly either retired. Either will, will, yeah, for, forcibly and retired. Um, you know, the the artwork in it is. Surprisingly, it looks old. I don't. I wouldn't say it's like. Um, it's, I think it's fitting for the story. Yeah, it's not like Jack Kirby. No. Obviously, but you know, it it got an old timey kind of feel, and you know, it's. I liked it a lot. I enjoyed. Yeah, I, I did too. The art style. I think it fit perfectly with the story that it was telling, and like you said, it may not be Jack Kirby, but I feel like it have definitely had. Um, I feel like Dave kind of went into a Jack Kirby mode when he was almost like an homage to Jack Kirby when mm -hmm. he was doing it. So. Um, yeah. But no, I was. Uh, I, I, what did you think of the comic? I, I really enjoyed it. I thought the. Yeah. It took a little bit uh, for me to kind of get into it, but I felt like the mystery was there that it grabbed my attention. Where I'm, I'm kind of interested to see where this comic goes in the future. I read it twice just because I, I, I went through it the first time, and um, I felt like I still wanted. I, I might have missed some stuff, uh, and I didn't. Not that I missed something. It was just that there's, there's like that a little itch. You know that I I want to, I want to find like those little small pieces that you think that are in there, but they're just trying to you know, they're yeah. trying to hide it. You know, is an Easter egg or you know something like that. No, I, yeah, well, the, I definitely the, the story got me intrigued. I mean, I'm definitely going to be following up on it. That's for I, well, sure. and I definitely feel like this first issue there was a pack with a lot of stuff. To your point of of Easter eggs that you don't quite understand how big they are until later. I think. You know, three or four or five issues into this, you're, you're going to go back and read that first one and realize how much was actually there that you didn't really realize. Mm -hmm. But yes. uh, 
But yeah, no, I I, I like the story. I kind of like the I like the hook. It's something different. It's something new. It's uh, less of a superhero and kind of more of a, a dystopian superhero story almost yeah. to an extent. So um, I'm very excited to see where the story goes, and I'll definitely be checking it out going forward. So yeah. I don't know. What do you think? I I give it a thumbs up. I definitely yeah. think it's worth a purchase. All right, so. check it out. It is definitely worth a purchase. I agree with you. It is worth a purchase. Uh, it's on sale, I believe, now? Right now? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, it came out on the 20th. So uh, two ninety nine. Dark Horse Comics. Black uh, Comics. Dark Horse Comics. <laughs> Black Hammer number one. Brian and Ryan of the Geek Dad Report say, check it out. Yeah. It is definitely Yo. worth a read, and it's yeah. uh, it's very intriguing. <laughs> Go to digital.darkhorse.com. Just get it digital. That's the best way to read comics right now, anyways. So, no. or you can Don't order. Gotta it. Get I'm, off sure, your ass I'm sure Dark Horse will send it to your house. So. Or if your comic book stop is near a Pokemon Go place and you have to walk by it looking for Pokemon, stop in their store and get Black Hammer. Get Black so. Hammer. It's a cool comic. <laughs> All yes. right, guys. Until next time. All right. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you guys next week.